So we're digging pretty deep here into the Python OS module. We've taken a look at several functions in there. We've also taken a look at, in prior lectures, about creating files. In the previous lecture, we saw creating directories. We use the make dirs function of the OS module to be able to create additional folders in your directory. Now, before you create files or before you create folders, you may want to figure out if that file or if that folder exists. Using the Python OS module, we can utilize the isFile and isDir functions to figure out if these files or directories currently exist. And if they don't exist already, we can then start to make them. Let's take a look. We're going to look at the isFile function. So I'm back into the same shell that I was working with in the prior lecture. I changed my directory. I was in the default Python directory. Now I'm sitting on my desktop. I used the git cwd current working directory function and I changed it to my desktop. Now I created an additional directory out there called Python OS. And that now lives, if I still have it here, there it is, that now lives out here on my desktop. Now I've got a file out there, it's a Microsoft Word document called Booking. Now I can utilize Python with its OS module to find out if a file exists. Take a look. I'm going to get into the OS dot. Now we're going to see something a little bit different here. I'm going to bring in path, which is a part of the OS dot. And if we give it another moment here, we come up with some other functions that we can take advantage of. Now there's one in here called is file. There it is. Now I want to know if a specific file exists. Now you'll notice that it's asking for a path. Well, remember, I'm currently in my current working directory is my desktop. So I'm just going to give it the file. I want to know if booking.docx, it's a Word document, is there. Right now, if I hit my enter key, the is file is going to take that value and search my current directory to see if it's there. I'm going to hit my enter key and it returns true. Yeah. Booking is out there. There's the booking Word document. Now, what if I do a document that doesn't exist? So I say OS path is file, and uh, we'll say none.txt. So this document does not exist on my desktop within that directory. So it returned true when it was there. What's going to happen if it isn't? I'm going to hit enter, and we got our false. So none.txt does not exist. It is not a file inside of that directory. Now we can do the very similar thing with directories, with folders. Here I'm using is file, but there's also one called is dir. So if I say os.path. Give it a moment here. Is dir. There it is. I can check to see if a specific directory exists within my current working directory. So I can say, oh, what was the one I created earlier? It was Python OS. So Python hyphen OS. And what's this going to return? That's one that does exist. There it is. It's true. It's there. So we can utilize these functions here, is file and is dir, to check to see if it exists before we start to interface with that file or that directory. And if it doesn't exist, then we can create them. We can use the make dirs. We can use the open file with the X, X mode. It's not there. We need it. So let's create it. If it's there, then let's take advantage of it and let's start working with that one. So now we're starting to experiment with taking these functions and incorporating them into if logic, right? Utilize your if statements, get in there and start to check to see if these things exist. And if they're there, great, move on. If they're not there, then let's start to do something about it if it's needed. So try these out. It's part of the OS, but you're gonna bring in path.isfile and isdir, whether the file is there or the directory. Try them out.